everyone and welcome to Tea With Me. I'm Michelle K. I'm Michelle C. Grab yourselves a drink. Yeah, cheers. And strap on. Strap in. Strap on. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, it's, it's been a long day. It's been a day. long day. <laughs> so, um, yeah. yeah. Strap in. Strap in. <laughs> Today we are going to discuss education, mainstream education and our thoughts on it mm-hmm. as parents. Yes. Um, I've personally always been an advocate for home education. My children have kind of been in and out of mainstream because the one snag that I've always found is the social aspect. Mm -hmm. Um, So that is the one advantage. But I mean, I've pulled my 12 year old out recently because she's being bullied. And it's like, if that's the only reason I want her to go to school, it's nonsensical to send her. And the school weren't handling it well. They didn't handle it well because I made suggestions to make things better and they just say, no, 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 no. Mm -hmm. Um, But they're they're trying to get hold of me to have a chat about, and it's it's too little too late, you know, Mm. and I I don't think they're actually going to budge on anything that I've suggested, so, yeah. Yeah. But one of the reasons that I made this decision, I mean, (laughs) I read this book, this guy is a genius. He was a teacher, so dumbing us down, the hidden curriculum of compulsory schooling. If you Mm. uh, are intrigued, it's an amazing read, John Taylor Gatto, and he was actually a teacher. But he talks about uh, one of the most interesting things I found in it was authority. And I think, I'm clutching at straws, but there's a huge lack of respect now, I think, among the young. But I think it boils down to confusion Mm. because we give up our, our authority to teachers and doctors and stuff. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, we can't command, I don't think, the same level of respect that perhaps we once could have done. Um, and I actually had a, an interesting conversation with a TA at my youngest daughter's school, who's probably going to be home ed soon anyway. Um, and I'll tell you why in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> yes, stay tuned. Um, but um, yeah. She said that there was a pupil who'd used quite foul language aimed at a teacher. And um, the parents didn't seem too interested. Excellent. And I just thought, you know, this is like the the teachers blame the parents, Uh the parents blame the teachers. Mm -hmm. And whose job is it? As far as I'm concerned, it's my job. It's the parents' job. It's my job as a parent to teach my children to be respectful. And manners. End of story. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But yeah, the reason, um, or one of the reasons, the tip of the iceberg, the straw that broke the camel's back, if you will. (laughs) The final straw. Yes. Um, My eight-year-old came home to me a couple of weeks ago and said, Mummy, we've learnt about drugs today in school. And I'm like, you're eight. What? what?" Uh, Yeah, excuse me. So I did sort of, you know, just I wanted to ascertain exactly what what the teaching was and what was mm-hmm. the uh, the whole purpose of this. And the teachers had told her um, and the class that there were good drugs and bad drugs. Mm-hmm. The good drugs being pharma. Yeah, and yeah. I'm like, I don't do pharma myself. No, My children no, have you're never very had anti Western yeah, medicine. Yeah, aren't you? But they've never had antibiotics, um, and I'm very much let food be thy medicine. Indeed. You know, keep your diet, look after your terrain, and then you'll be fine. Um, so, yeah. But if you hear any noise, it's Michelle's dog. Yes, we're at, we're she at is. Michelle's house today. <laughs> yes, we're at Michelle C's. We're both we're Michelle. We're at Michelle C's house. <laughs> Michelle C's. We're C's, normally yeah. at Michelle K's house. Yes, but it being the Easter school holidays. Yes, um, so I've, we, we I've locked the... my children in a cupboard. <laughs> I haven't obviously done that. Gagged them, <laughs> but the dog's in a but cupboard. But the dog is not gagged. <laughs> no, but she's uh, she's crying for some attention, dear. Oh. She's um. Coming up 13 and a half this month, my little stuffy. And she's adorable. She is quite lovely. I do quite like her. <laughs> Bless her. But yeah, we digress yes. again. Um, so yeah, do you want to sort of touch a bit on your kind of thoughts? Yeah, so mainstream? obviously I, I only have the one child and she only started in school in September. Yeah. So my knowledge on the education system is a lot less than, than Michelle C's. Um, and I took the decision off the bat to put my daughter into a private school. So I'm paying for her education. Yeah, so that's why I work evenings and weekends, is to pay for that, but I'm willing to do it because I think it's the best opportunity for her. Yeah, give her the best start in life. Um, I went to a particularly crap 
state school. Oh, I did too. <laughs> my husband also did not have the best experience at school. No. Um, and I think in a lot of the state school systems, uh, the sort of middle row pupils are just kind of left. Mm. They only really concentrate on the very top and the very bottom. Yeah. I find, I found personally. Yeah. And I don't think, uh, I was someone that needed encouragement yeah. and yeah uh pushing and and such and i wasn't in the environment for that i, ne- I didn't receive that no uh, my parents either didn't really push me or my sister no. education wise um i don't know why but they didn't no uh, and i didn't really care about school no uh, and i only really started caring about learning and stuff as i got older yeah I've, education really became a, more of a thing to me um, as I've sort of chased my own interests mm. later on, it's been a yeah. lot about health. Um, you find your diet. passion. Yeah. yeah. And that's, you know, I'm a qualified reflexologist and I love um, holistic, everything holistic really mm-hmm. yeah. to me. Um, and that's certainly not what mainstream education or uh, Western medicine support, I don't think. No. You know, it's just mm-hmm. not holistic. So it's kind of completely not who mm-hmm. I am and doesn't yeah. fit. Mm-hmm. Um and I think mainstream education is like round peg, square hole. And children are literally yes. bombarded with information that they, they are taught. Differently. They are taught to regurgitate and not taught to think, mm. you know? So yeah. when you're teaching, um, like, for example, um, my then seven-year-old um, came home to me one day and she said to me, Mummy, there is only one God and it's Allah. I'm not raising her to be religious. I myself, I'm not religious. I'm not, you know, against Mm -hmm. it. I respect everyone's views, their beliefs and everything. Yeah. But. But generally speaking, to be religious, you are raised in That to me is just the pillar of indoctrination. It's just, Mm. my my daughter doesn't necessarily believe that at all, but both of her teachers, because she has two that share the kind of rota throughout the week, um, they've told her that. But I don't think they've actually told her that. I think they've been learning about um, the Muslim faith. Mm -hmm. And so it's been misconstrued. Yeah. Because a seven-year-old mind is so impressionable and they can't make sense of things, you know? So it's really hard. Um, Well, see, the biggest draw for me with my daughter's school was that they do teach critical thinking. Yes. It's on the curriculum. And I was like, oh, brilliant, Mm -hmm. because we need that. We need kids to be learning critical thinking. Um, Absolutely. My not only real bug there with her school is that it is a Christian ethos school and I'm not a religious person. But I was like, great, if they've got Christian ethos, that means morals, values, yep. yada, yada, yada. But they are teaching religious education to the reception age children, which are like four or five years old. And I do think it's a bit too young because now my now five year old yeah. is saying that she believes in God. And I'm like, why? Yeah, yeah, it's, um, it's just and that she loves Jesus, and I'm like, okay, it's brainwashing. Uh, really, it does in, seem in, like it's in a my bit of brainwashing. eyes. It's, it's not, you know, yeah. because I think later on in life they can learn about all of the different gods, mm-hmm. and if they choose to yeah. follow an organized religion, yeah. you know, yeah. let it be their choice, not yeah. because that's what they've been told to do. You well, know? that's why I've explained to her that there are thousands of gods. And I was showing her the Egyptian gods, mm. the Roman gods, the Greek gods, yeah. and all that stuff. And she was really interested in it. Um, but obviously, well, it's fascinating it stuff. It is fascinating. I like that all the gods had different jobs almost. And, yeah, yeah, they know, represented yeah, different like, things. Oh, this they? is the god of the underworld. Yeah. And this is the god of death. And this is yeah. the god of fertility. And yeah, it's really interesting stuff. I love all like mythology and oh, I do and stuff Absolutely like that do. and yeah. theology to a certain extent. But yeah, yeah, she is interested in it, and I think I need to do a bit of a home. Yeah, scootering. Kind of, yeah, well, I know? mean, like now I've just, I mean, I pulled Libby out about well, three weeks ago, I think it was now. Mm-hmm. Um, so we're just, I mean, I've done a little bit of um, maths with her and her grandmother, her paternal grandmother is um, a retired teacher. Uh, English is her field. So she's been doing that with her. So, you know, we've got those covered. Brilliant. But for the most part, it's de schooling because I just, she was like, just her confidence was so low hmm. and I just couldn't sit by and watch anymore. Hmm. It's just like, no, come on. Um, 
And I just think school does break your confidence because you're continuously mm. told that you're not good enough or mm. that you need to do better or you've got to try and be somebody that you're not to fit in socially and it's all about being cool and you end up choosing one path or another. I will counter that with I think it depends on the school. Well, yeah. Because um, that's that was one of the reasons why I chose the school I did. It's an all-girls school. But I think it's inherent in mainstream. Oh, mainstream, definitely, yeah. yeah. But, um, yeah, my daughter's school, it being an all-girls school, and they're very much into nourishing... Yeah, and I think... Nourishing the student. And I think, you know, the diversity among backgrounds is going to be a lot less because people are paying for them to go yeah. to school so you know and obviously the parents are going to be that much more involved because yeah. we are paying yeah um so inherently the parents care about their children's education so i think yeah. they wouldn't be able to get away with what the state schools can get away with and i think uh the lockdowns highlighted to a lot of people <laughs> what the schools were doing yes um because i know it definitely in the states it kicked off it, and it's kicking off big time now with school boards yeah. and stuff and parents are actually combating yeah. the school boards and saying you can't be doing this to our children. Well I mean in the UK obviously a lot of the schools went academy didn't they oh, so it's become yes. about making money. Again, yeah they run you know, for profit. So it's, yeah. yeah. So it's politics and politics and politics and bureaucracy and it's just mm -hmm. insane and you know the provision for education in the UK is just so poor. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. government have completely screwed it up mm -hmm. but I've also like one of my real strong beliefs is you know I don't know about you guys out there um, comment and let me know if I'm right here but how many of us have to leave school get into jobs and then flip between jobs to find out what you actually want to do you know yeah if we were able to just find our talent early on mm. and just pursue that we could really master a a talent well there's a lot of kids now that want to be youtubers well yes yeah <laughs> i didn't know i wanted to be a youtuber because it wasn't a thing no <laughs> but now i do <laughs> yes well absolutely i didn't either yeah. you know um that's it it yeah. wasn't a thing no well yeah. i mean we we had four channels <laughs> we're going oh, back oh you're showing our age now <laughs> Yes, well, you We know. did have remote controls, though. We are both 25, really. Okay. We just had a hard paper round. <laughs> <laughs> it was a very hard paper round. Yeah. But no, I joined the military at 18 because I had not... I didn't have a clue. No. What I wanted to do. No. I had no clue. And my granddad was in and I just... Yeah. Yeah. Well, I... um, What did I do? I did start my A-levels. And then yeah, um, it was back when they did the AS levels and A2, they changed it for a while so that, because a lot of people were dropping out after a year, so they didn't want them to leave without qualifications. Yes, yeah, so they had an AS. Yeah. So yeah. I left, I was one of those <laughs> that left after a year. I didn't um, even finish the first year. Did you not? <laughs> no. But, you know, I was doing subjects that, yes, I, I mean, I love maths. Love it. Um, but... I just, it's something, because I like logic puzzles and stuff like that, and I just mm. love solving things. I'm not but logical. I, I can't my, think my of a job. My favourite was English literature. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But now I'm just health, really. I want to just yeah. study and learn about health and the best ways to nurture my children. Mm. You know, that's the best job in the world, actually. Being a mum. <laughs> I want to do that. Just not very well paid. Well, no, but, um, you know. Unless you marry a rich man. Yeah, there is that. But, you know, who needs money? You uh, just learn to be resourceful. It's fine. Mm, I'll some buy money. a cow. And actually, I've got stairs up in the back, you know, so it wouldn't be able to get back down. So I'd pop up. <laughs> no, I wouldn't do that. I love, no, I would love the idea of actually having some land and having some uh, Oh yeah, it would be lovely livestock, to have some land. Like a small holding, I'd much sooner do that. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, um, there's a couple more books actually I've got here. Um, How Children Learn, John Holt. I don't know if you've heard of him, but really, really amazing. And he wrote another book as well, uh, How Children Fail. So he kind of did Ooh. both sides, and they're really, really interesting. Well, I haven't read um, How Children Fail. Read this one, like, years and years ago. So can't really remember, but I'm going to revisit. But definitely remember yeah. it being a good... Well, now you're getting worth... back into the homes. Yeah, exactly. It was a good and worthwhile read. Um, but another thing, you know, I think is... 
children with the limbic brain, you know, going off to school so young as well. Um, and they're actually not, like, if we look at it from a science point of view, they're not ready in terms of development mm -hmm. to learn certain subjects like maths, really. And I mean, I didn't, I didn't go hard on maths mm. when Libby was younger. Um, but she has an aptitude for it, doesn't she? She does. We didn't. We did very little early on because I knew because I'd mm. studied it like and I'd learned or read about it, you know, and, and came to understand that she wasn't ready for it. So it was something that you do more in the prepubescent years. So anyway, um, she was like one of the top in her mm. year. So. You know, just goes to show you don't need to bombard so early on. I hate maths. It's not for me. No. And actually, you know, one thing um, that I'll say, because um, I've got another book here, Unschooling, which is, <laughs> which is another method which I've kind of, you know, done a little bit of. And do you know what? If you don't set any structure for the kids, they naturally get drawn to something mm. because they get... Um, intrigued you know they yeah. they want to seek out stuff to stimulate them so if you turn off technology in the house <laughs> they will naturally find something yeah. to learn and Libby will pick up the books even when I'm like you know I'm up doing whatever come down and she's there with her maths book and Aww. I haven't asked her to so yeah but I will hopefully be um, YouTubing with the kids our home ed journey so mm -hmm. watch out for that mm -hmm. it will be coming soon yeah. michelle's both of our channels are linked in the description anyway yeah i haven't done much with mine at the moment because um it's well as you probably picked up on this i've had distractions <laughs> you know with, with school and stuff Early so uh, yeah but um i have been um doing some diet stuff so mm -hmm. i will be putting that on my youtube channel pretty soon yay Okay, <laughs> lovely. So yeah, let us know if you've got any questions or if there's anything that you want us to talk about. Yeah, and also any of your experiences. Yeah, and any tips that you've got for home edders. <laughs> okay, lovely. Have a wonderful day. See you soon. Tea with me. See you soon.